he really is back. Pogba. Paul Pogba. Yes, Paul Pogba is really back. He's back on the score sheet. His first goal for Manchester United in the Premier League this season. Mason Greenwood doing what he does best. I know, guys, it wasn't a penalty. I know, I know it wasn't a penalty. Villa, I'm sorry. It wasn't a penalty, I'm sorry. But we got things to do. We have got things to do. One point outside the top four, Leicester. Chelsea, beware. Yes, guys, this is your match review for Aston Villa versus Manchester United. Before we go any further, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you share the video and subscribe to the channel. It's finished. Villa nil, Man United 3. 17 games unbeaten, 46 goals scored, 12 conceded. Oli's Tricky Reds, that's what they're calling them. Oli's Tricky Reds are on the march to top four. We close the gap even further. We close the goal difference even further. Week on week, it's getting closer. Top four is within our grasp and it's in our hands. It is in our hands. If we win our remaining games, we get into the top four. No questions asked. We don't care about UEFA. We don't care about Man City. It is in our hands. And today, with a helping hand, we got over the line. We didn't start great. I tell We did not start great. First 25 minutes, poor. We were actually, to be honest, first half we were poor. The whole first half we were poor. We, we were 2-0 no up at half time and we were poor. Which, to some extent, is a sign of a good side. If you can win while still playing bad. Because we played well since we come back from lockdown. You know, we played well against Brighton, Bournemouth, Sheffield United. Um, you know, in moments against Spurs after Pogba and Green, uh, Greenwood came on. Norwich game with FA Cup wasn't good. And the first half today was bad. I'm not going to lie, it was bad. We couldn't string passes together forward everything was going back and I, I kept wondering why are you passing it back if you know if you if you're gonna misplace the pass it's better you pass it forward you pass it back you put someone in trouble it wasn't good we were slow there was no it was lack of energy now the Bournemouth game as I said I think that was um complacency I don't think we were complacent here I think it seemed like we were I think I don't know if we were mentally Tired, mentally fatigued, or I don't know, we just didn't get in our stride in that first half. It can't be, it's not fatigue, because the second half we were much, much better. We were on it, running everywhere, um, but we weren't good, and Villa just kept coming, and we couldn't seem to get a grip of the game. Pogba and, well, more Matic than anything, was holding on to the ball too long. Um, we weren't gaining control of the midfield. Wamba Saka was struggling on the right um, in terms of his one on one duels, and also. I think it was two possible chances, especially a good one for Jack Grealish was created um, from his misjudgment of a cross onto the back post and they put that through a couple of times and we got away with it. And just before we got the penalty, which we're going to we're gonna speak about, just before we got the penalty, um, I think it was El Ghazi or one of them struck the post. Struck the post and they had options on the break um, and that was again that was from Matic dribbling out, tackled inside his own half. Um, and they were broken like three on two and Maguire had to kind of position himself to not allow <coughs> sorry the, the I think it might have been Samata down his left hand side an easy pass for him and made um, Trezeguet or whoever it was El Mohamed he take the shot and hit the pulse and we got lucky and no sooner did they hit the pulse we went on the other end and got the penalty let's talk about the penalty as I, as I tweeted as I said it wasn't a penalty John Moss got the wrong decision, made the wrong decision. It wasn't a penalty. Um, ball comes in, Bruno Fernandes, he goes to do a, a pirouette 360. Very well, actually, because the defender came in to like make a tackle slash block. I think he expected him to shoot. Um, he came in and Bruno got to the ball first and stood on the ball and turned. As he turned, he went into the defender. Defender who came into the challenge, but ultimately it was... Bruno, who made the contact with um, the defender. I can't remember the guy's name right now, but he made the contact with the defender. The defender came in, didn't get the ball, but stopped before he went through the ball and through um, Bruno Fernandes. 
but Bruno come in the opposite direction at the same time, does a 360 and goes into um, the defender. And of course, he exaggerated because he wasn't, I think it was holding his foot. It was his foot that connected with the defender's leg. But because, for me, wrong decision. Referee, wrong decision. Because the referee gave the decision, it has to be a clear and obvious error for VAR to overturn it. And I don't know if you can say it's a clear and obvious error, especially the the camera that they looked at, which was from the referee's position. So you see the defender come in, you see Bruno go round, and the next thing you see their legs collide and Bruno's on the ground. It's not, I'm, I'm literally just watching it now. From the side on angle, You see that it's Bruno because the defender stops, and you see Bruno go into the defender, and even from the back. But from the front on angle, it definitely looks like the defender challenges him. His left his left leg comes around as well, and because there's, I guess, an element of doubt, they stick with the on-field call. But for me, the on-field call was wrong. The on-field call was wrong. It wasn't a penalty. We got lucky. We got lucky with that because. At that point, Villa were on top of the um, uh, were on top. Dominant. We couldn't really get a foothold. I think we had one shot, maybe from Mason Greenwood. Um, they're just showing it again. Yeah, the contact's made by Bruno as he goes round. He goes to land his foot and it lands on top of on top of the defender. Um, but yeah, we had one shot, other shot from Mason Greenwood. But other than that, we were poor. Got the penalty, got a lucky break, and after that, it was it was all us. It was all us, to be honest. Um, Mason Greenwood, Mason Greenwood. I mean, what more can you say? What more can you say about this this lad, this kid? Um, picks up the ball. Brilliant work by Anthony Marshall in the middle of the park. Um, battling. Well, first he wins the tackle, battles all the defenders, gets up, gives it to I think it's Bruno Fernandez. Bruno takes it forward, gives it to Greenwood. Greenwood gives it back to Marshall, who then gives it back to Greenwood. It takes a touch towards the area and on his right foot and as I said left foot right foot we know it don't matter and he got a sight earlier didn't really connect with his left foot right foot power that was through the keeper before he even knew it 2-0 on the struggle half time it was game over after that there's no way Villa are getting two goals they struggled to score goals all season they had enough chances already to get one there's no way they're going to get two so really about that it was about us controlling the game after that and hopefully getting some more goals um, like in previous games what well, this is our fourth game in a row that we've scored three um, plus goals. But like the previous games, we, we're trying to up that goal difference. We need to close, we're trying to close that goal difference on Leicester. I think we are six behind now. I think it's about six behind. Um, so, yeah, we just keep going. And the third goal came from that man, Paul Pogba. That man, Paul, Bruno takes the corner, um, goes out to Pogba on the edge of the area. Nobody closing down. Poor Poor defending. To be fair, it was poor defending to an extent for Greenwood's goal because Tyrone Mins is just backing off, backing off, backing off and just giving Greenwood time to shoot. Um, and this one, Pogba gets the ball, even gets trapped under his foot a bit. Nobody from Villa closes down quick enough. He has time to set it and just curl it past a flat-footed Rainer, 3-0. And it was just about trying to get some more goals, to be honest. Up our tally, up our individual tally as well. Marshall had a chance, um, smashed off the bar. Rashford has some good work down the left, crosses it to Wan-Bissaka and he heads past the post. Really should have scored inside the six-yard box. Should have scored that. Um, then Rashford had a chance right at the end. Pogba goes forward and, and slots him. He makes a diagonal run in and slots him through and Reina makes a, a good save with his foot. We could have had four or five. Really should have had four or five. But 3-0, I'm taking it. I'm taking it all day long. Um, we are on some scintillating form, I tell you. We are on some scintillating form and I am loving it. The rivals are they're moaning, which means we must be doing something good. We must be doing something good. And on the back of the news that Pogba might be signing a new contract, on the back of the news that Jaden Sancho wants to join Man United, and now we're closing on a Champions League position. Rivals in the mud. Man United surging forward. Oli is at 
the don't say the rest. We ain't doing that today. That's it for the match review. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you on soon.